Welcome to the 1999 Harness Racing Year, a season dominated on both sides of the Tasman Sea by two outstanding performers. The brilliant three-year-old Courage Under Fire won an unprecedented six derbies, while the four-year-old Christian Cullen cut his way through grand circuit races in New Zealand and Australia. Both sons of the leading American stallion in the pocket, the Kiwi pair were unbeaten during the season. We have compiled a special tribute to these outstanding performers, starting with the aptly named Courage Under Fire, which closed out his first two seasons unbeaten in 22 racetrack appearances. Dunedin owner breeder Neville Cockcroft certainly showed plenty of foresight when he named his nuggety little black cult Courage Under Fire. A movie buff, Cockcroft named the cult after the war epic movie of the same name, starring Meg Ryan. The pint-sized cult, a mere 14.2 hands, had plenty to recommend him on the score of breeding. Being by American stallion in the pocket from the Vance Hanover mare, Advanced Deborah. The second foal of Advanced Deborah, which won the 1990 New Zealand size stake final, Courage Under Fire descends from a strong maternal family which includes 1951 Inter-Dominion pacing champion, Vedette. Broken in and educated by Wayne Ross, Courage Under Fire was sold to Australian Gold Coast property developer, Greg Brody, and eventually found his way into the stables of Bruce Negus at West Melton near Christchurch. Negus, who earlier acquired Ginger Man, One Way Traffic and Franco Hattrick for Brody, secured the cult on Brody's behalf for a six-figure sum, plus contingencies. Even though Neville Cockcroft sold the cult, he still retained an interest in Courage Under Fire. Under one of the contingencies, he received 10% of the cult's winning stakes from Group 1 and Sales Series Finals as a 2- and 3-year-old. Awesome in his debut year, the tiny black cult towered over his New Zealand opposition during the 1997-98 season. Courage Under Fire launched his career in a two-year-old mobile pace at Forbury Park in Dunedin on the 24th of January 1998. Pulling his way to the front, Courage Under Fire won by half a length, rating 26.7 for 2,200 metres. After the race, winning rangeman Colin de Filippi declared he had never driven a horse that had raced so greenly and still won. To the 1800 metre mark and it's the red hot favourite Courage Under Fire. Head in front by a battle, length and a half to two in second place and then we've got the watchman who's hard on the leader's back. About three lengths further away next to Smart Homes and another three and a half away to as yet. Two and a half further back then was Sir Capricorn and three lengths away to Bonnie Cam at the tail of the field. To the 1600 metre mark they go and the horse that set the uh, very, very fast time at Ashburton, Courage Under Fire, he shows the way and he's keeping the pace reasonably true. Courage Under Fire by a length and a half from the watchman who's got the drop on him and hard on the leader's back. About two lengths further away to who had the uh, stable mate of the watchman and Smart Homes. About two lengths further afield next then is as yet it's followed a length and a half further away to Sir Capricorn and Bonnie Cam is last of all. They ease the tempo over that quarter. Up they work towards the 1200 metre mark, now they swing in. And the leader is Courage Under Fire, by a length and a half from the watchman who's trailing the leader beautifully. About two lengths further away next then is Smart Homes. Two lengths further away to As Yet. Still nothing breaks that Indian file line. Smart Homes does now from three back on the fence. As Yet was followed by Sir Capricorn and last is Bonnie Cam and must be eight or nine off the lead. They've gone past the post now. They're under a lap of the track out. And it's the red-hot favourite, Courage Under Fire, who hasn't been pressured at all. The watchman's been sitting right on its back and now Smart Homes for Ellen's Beck. He gets taken up onto the leader's wheel. Sir Capricorn tracks that up and gets the 1-1 one, one sit. As yet is three deep on the fence. And Bonnie Cam is last of all. Into the back they go. They're 700 metres out from home now. And the favourite's been worked on. The favourite's been worked on. You wouldn't believe it. He's certainly not racing like $1.25 and $1.05 shot at the moment. At the 600 metre mark, Smart Homes ran past Courage Under Fire, who now rallies again with the urgings of Colin de Philippi. He got straight back onto the bed and on the outside, Smart Homes left its gear. But working up to off the back now, Courage Under Fire from now Sir Capricorn worked to second. The Watchman in third place in his Smart Homes having another go and Bonnie Cam's coming with it. As yet is working into it as well. It's a great little two-year-old race to six horses. Into the lane they come. What's Courage Under Fire got? He's on one rein coming around the bend. Courage Under Fire, the 
the insides. They're Capricorn the outside. They're 200 out. Smart Homes having another go at them. Now the Watchman's been angled out around them. Courage under fire from the Watchman. In between them, Sir Capricorn. Courage under fire. He is all courage. Courage under fire goes down to the line. He did everything wrong, but he'll learn a heap. Courage under fire beats Smart Homes and the Watchman. In behind those... Although he won, Bruce Negus sensed something was not right with the Colt. An opinion vindicated when Courage Under Fire endured a nasal discharge for 45 minutes after the race. Shaking off that brief travel bug, the Colt won by just over five lengths at Addington in February, less than a second outside the national record, before winning twice at Addington in early April. On Anzac Day 1998, Courage Under Fire stretched his winning streak to five in the $180,000 Yearling Sales Series Final at Addington. Courage Under Fire closed out his first season with another emphatic victory in the $150,000 ANZ Bank Sire Stake Final at Addington on the 15th of May. The Pocket Rocket cruised to a two-and-a-half length victory over Cigar and Revenet, rating 159.6 after running his last 800 metres in 57.3 seconds. Looking to give him a bit of a breather here. Out of money's the outside and here's the new attacker, Cigar. Cigar goes up and the pace goes on at the 800 metres. Revenez is now fourth on the inside. Agent Mulder getting closer. In between horses, Zucchero, but it's retreating. Major Anvil's on, it's in and then wider out to the watchman. The half and 63.2 but they're looking along now stand by your man Echo Light back behind those Buckland Abbey and down on the inside of Buckland Abbey is Matter of Honour they race out of the back they head round the 400 and it's Courage under fire Cigars only a head away followed by Agent Mulder then Revenir's in the trail right behind Courage under fire the mortars will be coming shortly and it's Courage under fire the inside Cigar I think he might be labouring a bit oh they're all labouring look at Courage under fire he's left them to it. Major Anvil getting through on the inside. Revenez is pulled to the outside. But as they race down, it's Courage under fire. Cigars holding second. Revenez and Major Anvil fighting out the miners. But Courage under fire. And Colin de Philippi sits as still as a church mouse. Down to the line he goes. Cigar second. Photo Revenez and up on the inside, Major Anvil. They were followed a bit further back. Turned out for a spell after six consecutive two-year-old wins, Courage Under Fire stretched his unbeaten streak to 22 as a three-year-old, including a world record six derby victories. Courage Under Fire was described as potentially the greatest horse New Zealand had ever produced following his tearaway five and three-quarter length victory in the $150,000 New Zealand Sires Final at Addington in November 1998. The Colt earned further rave reviews and picked up a unique piece of harness racing history when he won the members' Golden Mile at his North Island debut at Alexandra Park in Auckland on the 11th of December. His first start on the right-handed circuit, he had to contend with a second-row draw, but cruised home by five and a half lengths in an unbelievable 154.7, slicing a second off the New Zealand age record. 900 metres to go, Colin Butler zooms round the outside with Seafield Raider as they swing out to take the lead. That left carriage under fire without cover down on the inside now is Smart Homes in the 1-1 one -one of Stevie's there, followed by Highview Hotshot at the 800 metres and 57. 7.9 there, followed then by uh, C uh, by uh, Stylish Sweetheart Pocket Me between them and the uh, diagonal stripes. Then we've got Mac Destroyer at Revenez, the tail ender, about seven or eight lengths off this leader as they work past the 600 metres. And Colin de Philippi now elects to take the unbeaten colt to the lead. Courage under fire, led by a length and a half to Stevie's on the outer. Seafield Raiders tucked away in the trail. Pocket Me three out on the outside of Smart Homes. Highview Hot Shot, then Mac Destroyer, followed by Revenez and Stylish Sweetheart at the tail of the Field. Round they come just over 2.50 to go in the group to the members Golden Mile and it's Courage Under Fire. Courage Under Fire turns for home and going nicely by two over Seafield Raider on the outside of Stevie's at the 150 though out deeper. Mac destroys coming home pretty well but it's all over. Good night nurse. Courage Under Fire. 11 starts is cold unbeaten. Oh this is an easy win. Cruises to the line. Courage Under Fire. Six links. Mac destroys second. Third I think. Revan is may have just nutted smart homes in that Photo. The first three-year-old to break 155 under race conditions, Courage Under Fire made it the perfect dozen when he won the $100,000 Great Northern Derby at Alexandra Park on New Year's Eve. In front, as soon as the mobile gate pulled away, 
Courage Under Fire was always travelling easily and drew away from his rivals to win by five lengths. Into, into the straight they come, down past the 1,200 metres now. And the leader is Courage Under Fire from Seafield Raider. Locked up in the trail is Highview Hot Shot. In the 1-1 one, one is Colonel Anvil. Down on the inside, three deep is Angel of the Night. They're followed down on the inside then by Mac Destroyer. Cigar's going pretty well too on the other. In behind Cigar now is Revenez, followed by Stevie's and Smart Homes, the Talender. But they wheel out 900 metres to go in the Great Northern Derby and carriage under fire by a length and a quarter on the outside Seafield Ray the high view hot shots had a lovely run in the trail uh, no time there it's the half there followed by Colonel Anvil down on the inside Angel of the Night followed by Cigar Mac Destroyer Rivenez and Stevies and Smart Homes now looking to make ground from the tail of the field as they go down towards the 600 metres Colin de Philippi applied a little bit more pressure a length and a half clear Seafield Raider down on the inside is high view hot shot the leader's going well Colonel Anvil Healing out for Barry Purden. That forces out Cigar Four deep down on the inside. Angel of the Night at the 400 metres, though. Carriage under fire. Here comes Cigar out about five wide. High view, hot shot. Colonel Anvil and Seafield Raider coming to the bend in the VG World Great Northern Derby Group 1. And Carriage under fire. He goes for home. He exploded two lengths away. Cigar's coming after him. Full of Mac Destroyer. High view, hot shot. But Colin de Philippi. Yes, he was only just kidding, ladies and gentlemen. This great three year old's coming right away with the Veggie World Great Northern Derby. Courage under fire by four. Cigar is second on the inside then as Stevie's running on from Mac Destroyer out wider. Maybe photos there followed high... Equaling New Age Man's New Zealand record of 13 consecutive wins from debut in the $150,000 Yearling Sales Series Open Final at Alexandra Park on the 8th of January, the Colt flew out of Auckland the following morning to contest a heat of the Victoria Derby at Mooney Valley on the 16th of January. Breaking the record of New Age Man when he beat Shaker Maker and Echo Light by 21 metres in his heat of the Derby, rating 158.7, Courage Under Fire was shooting for his 15th straight win when he lined up in the $100,000 Victoria Derby final a week later. Metres away last. They have a circuit left to go and Courage Under Fire is narrowly in front of Sally Lafella. He hasn't gone as hard as he did last week to this stage of the race. Third, the inside, Luke of Earl. Fourth, Chairman Whitby. Echo Light from near last goes up three wide into fifth spot. Art Scooter, the inside of Bronsky Warrior. Lucky Audrey hooks out three wide to get a trail on the back of Echo Light. And then Jimmy Cole, Ken Rock. And last is Johnny Wizard. 31 seconds the second quarter. And as they head into the back straight now, the leader is Courage Under Fire and he's held together. They've got 650 metres left to go. Zooming up out three wide on the track to put in a big dash is Chairman Whitby. Courage Under Fire under a hold. Cellular fella loses ground. Wide as Echo Light. And then came Luke of Earl. Now they're getting serious. Courage Under Fire under double wraps. Led by a head at the moment of Chairman Whitby. Off the back straight in 28.6. Courage Under Fire, the leader rounding the turn for Colin de Philippi. He holds him together two metres to Chairman Whitby. Lucaville kicking back on the inside but away he goes. Courage under fire six metres clear. Lucaville battling on well and then came Chairman Whitby but it's Courage under fire with a hundred to go. Fifteen starts and fifteen wins and the superstar Mighty Mouse does it again and it's Courage under fire by ten metres to Lucaville. Chairman Whitby a terrific run third. That Derby victory saw Courage Under Fire equal another long-standing New Zealand record. Noodlem's streak of 15 consecutive race wins, set between April and September of 1974. Courage Under Fire claimed the record outright when he had little more than a walk in the park to win the $60,000 flying stakes at Addington at the end of March, rating 156.7 in his three and three-quarter length victory. They race their way past the pavilion, head into the back to the 1,000 metres now. And Cigar, the leader, he's been running bridesmaid to Courage Under Fire right throughout his career, but he's leading this field. Into the back he goes by a battle link from Foden Holmes, more speed going on, followed by Stevie's. Courage Under Fire is now nicely spotted in the 1-1, one -one, surfing the net the inside. Outside that Waitaki Warrior and Colonel Anvil down inside the half and 60.8. Now the speed on, the cigars leading them by a long neck to half a length. He races down the back just clear. Over on the outside is Foden Holmes getting every chance, Stevie's. Courage under fire next, the outside still travelling nicely enough. Surfing the net, the inside next is Waitaki Warrior. And a length and a half further back to Colonel Anvil. They're starting to really speed now as they come past the 400 metres. Cigar the leader, 
Foden Holmes outside, followed by Steve. He's getting every chance. Now Courage under fire. Colin de Phillippe angles him out three wide. He comes round them further back to Waitaki Warrior surfing the net. And Colonel Anvil, cigar, but oh, Courage under fire's led loose. And he leans forward and he goes clear. Coming late, the outside Waitaki Warrior. But it's all Courage under fire. 16 without loss. A new New Zealander sequence record. Congratulations. Greg Brody, Bruce Negus, and Colin de Phillippe. Outstanding performances. And uh, 16 in a row. Wonderful work. A week later, Courage Under Fire made it 17 straight when he captured the $125,000 New Zealand Derby at Addington. Taken straight to the front by Colin de Filippi, the Colt turned the classic into a procession, scoring by four lengths, running his final 800 metres in 56.2 seconds. On their way round the turn, 30.8. They seem to be doing it so effortlessly, but they've gone through in 30.8, which is as good as anything goes through the first quarter. They race into the back, a 1,000 metres to run now. Courage under fire. Colin de Philippi leans a little further forward in the sulky. Now surfing the net, the outside still nicely held by Kevin Townley, followed then by Colonel Anvil, the inside, and Sol Burge, the outer. The Waitaki Warrior and Cigar, the next pair, and Stevie's, they're at the 800. How will the half tick over? They go down the back, 61.1. So that quarter not so, so quick. Down the back they travel, though, and with 700 to go, Courage under fire. A length and a quarter clear. Colin de Philippi still has a pretty good hold of him, surfing the net the outside. Colonel Anvil's had the dream run. There's Sol Burge going up on the outside. She's being tracked around wider out by Stevie's in the centre cigar. And Waitaki Warrior, they bunch over about four lengths and the speed's really on here. Courage under fire and Colin de Philippi gives him freedom. And round the corner he comes. Courage under fire's put four lengths over them. And as they swing for home, 200 to go. Colonel Anvil holding second. Then with Waitaki Warrior, wider out Stevie's. And further back of the race, Sol Burge, but Courage under fire. He's got the derby parceled up, tied and knotted. And down to the post, the pocket rocket. He's out by three lengths. Courage under fire. A good race, Colonel Anvil, after a dream run. Followed home by Waitaki Warrior, Stevie Sol Burge. Cigar broke up coming around the bend. Chalking up win number 18 in a preview of the New South Wales Derby at Harold Park, Courage Under Fire looked to hold a mortgage on the $100,000 Blue Riband event a week later, after drawing perfectly in Gate 3. The Colt made it 19 out of 19, but not before giving connections a few scares after being headed out of the gate by Sir Guinness, and then being snookered on the pegs. In the end, however, Courage Under Fire was in his usual spot, all by his lonesome at the head of the field. It's been a very stressful first lap for horse and driver here. I speak of Courage Under Fire, but he's happier now away from the pegs. It's Sir Guinness jogging along in front. Second on the inside is Doc's Mistake, and left without cover now is Live In Fear. Over on the inside as they work along the back there came Waitaki Warrior, Courage Under Fire in a 1-1 trail on the outside of Just OK and last of all is the Waitaki Warrior as they leave the back straight now at the 1200 metre mark and the leader is Sir Guinness, 4 metres in front of Doc's Mistake third on the outside is Live In Fear and over on the inside is Waitaki Warrior, Courage Under Fire he's relaxing better now on the outside followed by Just OK and last of all is Waitaki Warrior, they've got a thousand metres left to go in the Nestle Peters New South Wales Derby with Courage Under Fire looking for 19 out of 19. And who would have expected him to be sitting in a 1-1 trail here? It's Sir Guinness, the leader from Live In Fear. Doc's mistake is third. Courage Under Fire is fourth on the outside. He's travelling on the bit. Next on the inside, as they go to the back, was Waitaki Warrior, followed further back on the inside by Just OK. And last of all is another con. At the 600, this leader slipped away. Sir Guinness, he's five metres, Doc's mistake. Now, Courage Under Fire being called upon by De Filippi. He's giving the leader about 15 metres start. It's Sir Guinness off the back, five metres, Doc's mistake. Now, Courage Under Fire is running up to third. Next on the inside, Waitaki Warrior at the 400, Sir Guinness. Three metres, Courage Under Fire. He's coming up on the outside with a strong run. 
on the turn at the 200. Sir Guinness led. Courage under fire. Quickly got level. Courage under fire. He's come to save the day. Mighty Mouse is on his way. Going for 19 in the New South Wales Derby. Courage under fire. Dashed away from Sir Guinness. Then Doc's mistaken. Just okay down the outside. Courage under fire is clear. He is an absolute champion. This is one of the best you'll ever see. Courage under fire. One by 10 metres. Just okay. Doc's mistake. Held on for third. Ran a cheeky race. During the course of that New South Wales Derby campaign, owner Greg Brody had to think long and hard before refusing an offer that reached two and a half million dollars for his wonder cult. His fourth derby in the bag, Courage Under Fire, headed north for the Queensland Derby at Albion Park in the first week of July. In a pipe opener for the Queensland Classic, Courage Under Fire made it 20 wins straight with an unbelievable performance to win over a mile at the Gold Coast. Burning out from a wide draw, Courage Under Fire ran the first quarter in an unprecedented 26.7 seconds, before cruising home by nearly 50 metres. His time of 154.9 smashed the all-age track record and took a staggering six-tenths of a second off the Australian three-year-old record. Next on the agenda was the $50,000 Queensland Derby. Once again, the result was the same. Courage under fire first, daylight second. First of all, first quarter of the last mile, 29 and 6, and De Philippi is holding Courage under fire together. Two five O's actually got the head in front on the outside as they go by the winning post. My way of thinking is third. Spring Grove left is fourth, 1 1, Sun Cola. He's having the toughest run of his life out three wide. Then Bronsky Warrior over on the inside, drop dead gorgeous between runners. Punkarama trailing three wide, then came Aussie Dan, Midnight Bronze, and the watchman is last, no more though than six lengths off the speed, 30.5 the second quarter, 60.1 the half the crowd's waiting, they're waiting for the Philippi to let loose on the rain Sun Cola actually went to second my way of thinking was third and then came at the head of the others, Punkarama, followed by Bronsky Warrior, 250 gone, then drop dead gorgeous, followed by the watchman, well back in the field came Midnight Bronze, and Aussie Dan is towards the tail, they're at the 400 metres, Courage under fires in front by ahead, he still hasn't let him go. He's looking for 21 straight wins and derby win number five. Now he's about to get busy. Then came my way of thinking, followed by Drop Dead Gorgeous, and further back came Punkarama. Third quarter, 29-7 around the home corner, and now he goes for Courage Under Fire, heading down the straight from my way of thinking. This is your moment. Live with it, folks. Away he goes. He's the best thing in the world tonight. Courage Under Fire. Please salute your little champion. Thanks for the privilege. My way of thinking second, Bronsky Warrior third, then came... Sun Equaling Tactile's long-standing record of five derby wins, which has stood for three and a half decades, Courage Under Fire then headed south for his final race of the season, the $100,000 Australian Derby at Mooney Valley on the 24th of July. Billed as a two-horse clash between Courage Under Fire and Shaker Maker, with Revenet thrown in for good measure, the race lived up to all the pre-race hype. Once again, it was the usual story. The little Kiwi colt completely outclassed his rivals, leading throughout to win by 11 metres at a 156.5 mile rate for 2,540 metres, a world record for a pacer in a race beyond 2,400 metres. Six metres, the first quarter in 29.2, so they're going at a super pace here, heading down the straight with 1,100 metres to go, quickly hooking out Shaker Maker, he zoomed up, Goes up to second with a lap to go. Third, Lucky Ardry. In fourth spot, Chairman Whitby. Springwell feeling the pinch a bit. Then Revenet, Waitaki Warrior, Luke of Earl. Second last, Cellular Fella. And Seafield Quest has had enough and drops out of its Seafield Raider at the tail of the field. 800 metres to go. Courage under fire in front. Two metres to Shaker Maker. Third, Lucky Ardry. Chairman Whitby fourth. Revenet zooming up three wide. Second quarter in 30.5. Along the back they head. It's Courage under fire. Three metres. Shaker Maker second, Lucky Ardry third. Revenet's out three deep and then Chairman Whitby off the pegs. They beat off Waitaki Warrior, then came Luke of Earl. Courage under fire, heading off the back. Nearing the 400 metres. Two and a half metres to Shaker Maker. Out three wide, Revenet still coming. Then came Lucky Ardry, Chairman Whitby. Courage under fire, finds though. The Philippi asked for something and the little mighty Adam found it too. He answers, bounding away. Six metres in front. Third quarter, 28.7. Shaker Maker sticks on. Revenate to the outside, but it's courage under fire at the 
150, 22 starts, 22 wins coming up, six derbies and a super horse, a champion. Courage under fire wins the derby, the Express Post Australian Derby by 10 metres. Courage under fire first, Revenay second, Shaker Makers run third, then Luke of Earl, Lucky Ardry, Chairman Whitby. His work completed for the season, Courage Under Fire returned home to New Zealand with a record of 16 wins for the season. Courage Under Fire banked $898,588 from his 22 straight wins. And Connections now have their sights on San Simeon's Australasian record of 29 consecutive victories.